Greg Tepper of Dave Campbell's Texas Football and TexasFootball.com here at the THSCA Coaching School and Convention in San Antonio with the head coach of the Canadian Wildcats came up from way up there in the panhandle to come and visit us. It's Coach Chris Ketting. Coach, how are you? Doing very well. How We're now in day three of the of the convention, and I know as a as a member of the board, you kind of been running around like a chick with your head cut off. Yeah, but, we've uh, been we we've, we've had a pretty pretty busy schedule, and it's it's been a, a great uh, convention, and uh, it's just been outstanding. Well, and I'll tell you, you know, Step told us earlier that apparently it's a record number of attendees. Yes, and like that is not just a number. Sitting here all week, it feels like there's a lot more people here, and and. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really interested, you know, from your perspective on the board and stuff, what you think of that and, and why you think that is. Well, I, you know, I think a lot of it, uh, the the increased um, attendance, a lot of it had to do with people wanting to get, get their tackling certification and some of the, the mandatory uh, certifications that, that, that they have to get, and they can get it all here. And uh, I think that's one of, the, one of the reasons, but, you know, it's just been the, the – a great energy here at this at this convention and uh it's it's you know i think it's probably been one of the best that that's ever been you know so and uh you know the the the, the speakers that they have have lined up and i mean it's just outstanding it's just been outstanding it's really been it's it's really been like a different feel yeah. and and this is you know I, this is you know, only like my i think my eighth coaching convention so i'm not i'm no expert but it, this does feel like the biggest and and, and most energetic it's been i in, totally agree in, with that in a long time um so let's talk about I, I guess Canadians going to have field the team this year. We are. We're going to put one out there. You're going to have eleven on each side. Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. Well, hey, that's that's nice. Um, you guys are, the, you know, one of the most tradition rich uh, programs in the state. One of the most consistent winners. Um, you know, a hundred wins exactly in your in your career there at, at, at uh, Canadian. You could just stop and like end it on an even number. No, I think I want to keep going. So. Well, so <laughs> so I'm you know I'm I'm interested because the, the last couple of years you guys have you guys have come up, you know, a game short. Yeah. which is not something that Canadian is used yeah. to doing. What has been how, – how have you – has there been a change in mindset around there? Has there been a change in, in kind of attitude around there? Because um, I think it's real easy to, to – I think it's real easy to motivate kids when you're winning championships. Yeah, yeah. Maybe when you're falling that game short. Yeah. I'm interested in, in, in maybe the change in the vibe around the program. Well, you know, I think, uh, you know, just being one game short two years in a row of getting to the state championship game – uh, I think that's really motivated our kids, you know, and, and, and it's kind of, I mean, you, you should be really excited about making it to the semifinals, but you're also disappointed because you you were so close, you know, so uh, that doesn't leave a very good taste in your mouth. Uh, and so I feel like, you know, our kids, they need we need to kind of have a chip on our shoulder that we got to get get over that hump and get to back to the big, the big one. So. Uh, you know, that, I think it's a great motivator for us, honestly. You know, you've been you've been coached long enough, and I won't I won't patronize you with the question of did you have a good off season? Because every coach in the oh, states yeah. said they oh, had yeah. a good off season. Yeah. What made this off season good for Canadian? Well, I just think uh, you know the attitude and the energy that our, our our kids approached it. You know, especially this summer, we've had tremendous workouts and, and great attendance and. And, uh, you know, our kids are hungry. I know they, they you know, they, they have some big goals in front of them, mm-hmm. in, their, in their heads, and, and they want to go, go, go out and get it done. Uh, you guys have a, um, a, a number of really, uh, really exciting pieces coming back. I mean, chief among them is, is Case and Cavalier. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this kid, every time we see him, he does something yeah. different and special. Yeah. Um, you know, you get to see him every day. What is it about him that makes him so special? Well, you know, he's a coach's kid. Uh, Andy Andy Cavalier uh, is our defensive coordinator. His his dad, he's grown up around football. He knows football, and and you know, there's not a harder working kid in our program than him. And and a super kid, great attitude, good leader. I mean, that's all you can ask for, uh, you know, out of your quarterback. And uh, you know, he's gonna, I think he's going to have a tremendous year. You know, he missed about four games last year during district with a knee injury and he had great numbers as, as they were but they would have been a lot higher even so um, I think he's really going to have a tremendous year you know he's a he's a great thrower he has as good an arm as any quarterback we've had and uh, but he's also a good runner as well he had a couple games where he went over 200 yards last year rushing so 
Uh, very, very excited to have him back. You know, for all the talk that we do, and we are as guilty as anybody of it, of talking about your offense, because I think, you know, yeah. you guys are fun to watch. You, you put up these numbers and stuff. Um, it, it seems to me that, that what really sets apart a great Canadian team is, is, is a great right, defense. Right. And um, so I'm interested if you could characterize for us the, uh, the you know, what, what we're going to see from the Canadian defense. Well, you know, I'm, I'm an offensive guy, but, <laughs> but, but I know what, what wins championships. Mm-hmm. And, that, and, you know, you hear that all the time. But it is true. That's, that, that, is, that is the truth. And, uh, you know, like I said, Coach Cavalier, our defensive coordinator, he does, and our, all of our defensive coaches do an amazing job. And, and you know, like, like you said, well, there's always been a lot of talk about our offense. But really what really got us over the hump was our defense. So, um, you know, I think I think we will continue to be. We, you know, we have about five kids back, four or five uh, that started last year. You know, we had we had two really big kids. You know, and a six three, two fifty type size kids on the defensive line. We don't have those anymore, right? But but we have really athletic, strong, powerful kids that that are going to do a good job. Now, is this so, year nine or year ten for you? Canadian? This will be nine, I believe. This will yep. be number nine. Mm-hmm. I don't want to give you, you know, all the credit for, for helping to build Canadian into into a winner because it's got a, a great tradition and a great, you know, great legacy around the state. But I am interested to see, you know, how you would what you would say is is how this program has changed since you arrived. So what what is what is the the biggest difference you think between you know the Canadian, you know, when you arrived uh, nine years ago and, and well, uh, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I had very little uh, to do with. Get getting the <laughs> tradition at Canadian High School start or started at all because it was already there when I when I when I came to Canadian in 2003 as assistant co- coach uh, it was already it already had a great mm-hmm. uh, tradition and you know um, and then in in 2007 and and eight we were able to win state championship with Kyle Lynch as our head coach so I got to learn a lot from that so uh, but you know and I took over in 2010. And, you know, I honestly, I don't know that there's been a lot of change, and that's mm-hmm. probably good. I mean, yeah. I, I feel like that, that the kids today are playing the same as those kids did in 2010, same attitude, same work ethic, you know, same, same things that make you successful, being unselfish. I think our kids were doing that in 2010, and they're still doing it today. Well, it's so. a different kind of kid that lives in yeah. Canadian. Yeah. You know, it's a, different, yeah. it's a certain kind yeah. of kid. Yeah, yeah you know, there's – there's uh, not a lot to do in Canadian, you know. So, <laughs> I mean, that, but so, uh, you know, we, it's not hard to get them to go lift and run and, and get ready, you know. and, and uh, Coach's dream. Yeah. Nothing, yeah. No, no trouble to get into. That's right. That's, That's right. Um, you know, realignment, you know, from a district perspective, things didn't change a whole lot. Different number district, but, you know, about the same. You get a, a new team in, in uh, a drop down. Um, um, overall, when you take a look at what, what you're up against, in, in, you know, now in, in your new path, um, do you view any real major changes? What, do, what are you looking at? Well, you know, the things, the, 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 the main changes that I can think of is, is you know, uh, you know, Sonora going out, mm-hmm. um, you know, in, in our, in our district, um, uh, in our district, you know, there's really only one change, um, Highland Park mm-hmm. moved down and then, uh, uh, Friona yeah. moved down. So we have, you know, haven't, haven't played Friona much. Uh, since uh, maybe 2006, so not very, real familiar with them. I know they had a great year last year, uh, but you know, overall, not much change. But I, one thing I do believe is that each team in our district is going to be better than they were last year. I believe mm-hmm. that. So mm-hmm. it's going to be a dog fight. Yeah. It's going to yeah. be a lot of fun to yeah. watch out there and up there in a panhandle. Let's get to Chris Ketting <coughs> and the Dick Sporting Goods Wheel of Questions. Um, Nothing on here is going to get you fired, okay. but okay. you do have to answer it truthfully. Okay. So it's a Dick Sporting Goods wheel question. Get this thing a spin. All right. And we will see what Chris Ketting for Canadian is going to be answering for us. DickSportingGoods.com for all your sporting and goods. Dick Sporting Goods. I hope it's a that good. Is a, this, is a, this is a powerful spin. I hope it's a good question. All right. This one's pretty oh, good. And now we're going to have to remove this because we've talked. We've, now, we've landed on this like three or four times. All right. Now you are a workaholic. And especially during the football season, there's no such thing as an eight-hour day. It's 16, 17, 18-hour days. But when you do get a chance to relax, how does Chris Ketting relax? Well, but some, sometimes during football, that's kind of hard to do. Right. But, uh, it, d- during the off-season. D- well, during the season, you know, one thing that I like is after all the work's done on Saturday, go 
you know, it's crazy. You're, you're around football all the time, but and then when you have a little free time, what do you want to do? You want to watch, watch football, football on TV. So when I when I uh, on Saturdays, I like to to come home, kind of not think about anything for a few hours and just watch watch college football, hang out with my wife and kids and. Turn on and, the uh, flip. You get the, you get the remote. Though. Yeah, yeah. yeah I right. usually get that. All right. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you win on Friday night, you get the remote. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if you if you lose, then maybe it's like, all right, I'm, I'm I want to watch this Tulane That's game. That's right. That's right. right. It's Chris Ketting, the head coach at the Canadian Wildcats. Coach, appreciate your time. Thank you, Greg.